most people lived in places like this. Rome was chock full of apartment blocks, just like this one. Usually, there were shops on the ground floor with lots of flats on the upper storeys. It was quite common for a whole family to share just one room between them all. There was no kitchen, no bathroom, no taps or running water, no privacy. These apartment blocks were only allowed to be a maximum of five storeys high by law. Living on the top floor would have been a real pain because there were no elevators either. That meant that every time you went out, every time you needed fresh water, and every time you wanted to go to the toilet, you had to go up and down five levels of stairs. And you had to be careful walking past these buildings because some people might just throw their dirty water out of the window rather than take it all the way back down. Many apartment blocks had an inner courtyard in the middle. Here there might be a water fountain where you could get your drinking and washing water, otherwise there were more out in the streets. If you were lucky, one of these rooms would have a toilet, otherwise it meant walking out to the closest public toilet block. This was the everyday reality for most kids living in Rome, but not for everyone. Let me show you how the rich kids lived. Rich families lived in large, spacious houses. I've found a dodgy real estate agent that wants to show us around one of them. As you can see, the atrium is a very good size. Just needs a fresh coat of paint and perhaps a nice new water fountain down here. The previous owners have let it go to ruin a little. But see that hole in the roof up there? That's deliberate. All the best houses have them, you know. Let's in the sunlight, because of course, not many people have ground floor windows these days. And yes, it's true, it, it does let in a little bit of rain. That's why we have the pool underneath. Um, yes, I, I won't show you the bedrooms right here. It's really nothing to see, quite just the normal, you know, just room enough for a bed and that's all. But if you come this way, sir, I'm sure you'll find the dining room quite satisfactory, yes. Um, I know that some people these days have two dining rooms, you know, one for summer and one for winter, but most people are quite happy with one. No, oh, and your slaves could get this courtyard looking beautiful again in no time. Just imagine a large fountain in the middle, some grass growing, a few flower beds, and maybe even a few small trees. And all the other necessary rooms open off from here. You've got more bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, and if you needed more room, you could always add another story up here. Oh, this is the place for your family's shrine. It's where you honour the spirits of your ancestors and also the gods that were special to your family. It's in a nice central place to help you remember to pray for them every time you go out. Thanks for letting me show you around. I'd give you my business card, but they haven't been invented yet.